Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal and my speciality is ophthalmology, eyes. However, I'm also into genetic engineering or gene therapy. And my practice is at Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Shantinagar, Bangalore 25. Wow, that's a huge question. In our MS, we're given three hours to tackle just this one question. I'm going to try and do that in less than 30 seconds, okay? Usually myopia, which is spectacle power in, in young individuals, comes at about age 10. Keeps on increasing till about 20, steadies down after that. However, between the ages of 10 and 20, is also when the individual wants to look very pretty, look nice and a lot of other factors that play a role. Second problem that comes up is if the power which starts like minus one goes up above minus three and above, do we call this a pathological myopia versus a simple myopia? Now what are the things that we can do is if your parents are already, or if, you're, if you know that your spouse is already a myopic, then what you want to do is make sure that myopia doesn't come into your child. Now to do that, we know two things about myopia and dryness of the eye. We don't know which comes first. It's like the chicken or the egg story. So if there is dryness in the eye, myopia will follow suit. If there is myopia, you can expect dryness of the eye. So if in a child we can tackle dryness of the eye, we may have either delayed the onset of myopia and or removed the process altogether. In today's world, this has become even more important because of our reliance on video display terminals. That means your mobile phone, your television, your computer, camera, anything. These are all leading up to us not blinking. Now in 1800s, our blink reflex was over 20 blinks in a minute. Now if somebody comes like this today, as an ophthalmologist or as a parent or as a friend, you're going to find that very, very abnormal because with the reading, which came in the 1900s, we already lost our blink reflex to less than 12 a minute. Today, if somebody is on a computer, you time him, he's not even blinking once in a minute. So we are just learning to be staring because the video display terminal is that interesting. Now, what did we do by reducing the blink reflex we've increased the dryness of the eye. So what can be recommended is that the person gets up, walks around, puts some artificial tears in the eye, puts some ointment around the eye, not inside the eye, and takes some vitamin tablets. Along with this will come one more factor, which is called a silicon lacrimal plug. Now we have four openings in our eye which takes the moisture of the eye into the nose. We close this with something made of silicon. It is made and patented in US, comes to us because it's been patented for this small 300 micron canal. So it's less than five second process. A silicon lacrimal plug is placed in and at least 50% of the moisture is now retained in the eye. My grandfather over a hundred years ago and for the last hundred years and even till now there is in his um, in the Sri Aurobindo ashram in Pondicherry exercises that can be done for reducing the impact of myopia. One of the most important ones is to do palming. So you close, cup your hand, put one hand over the other Keep your elbows on a table, count 20 breathings. In this way, you would have brought de-stressing into your system. You're still on your computer. All you've done is this, 
for 20 breathings. Some more exercises that you can learn either from the Sri Aurobindo Ashram Pondicherry School for Perfect Eyesight and from here. Now let's go to how do we treat the condition. That means, okay, the person already has myopia. Either you can use spectacles, which is what general milieu would use, or go to contact lenses and or go to LASIK laser surgery. Now LASIK laser surgery itself cannot be done if the eye is too dry or if the cornea is too thin. Spectacles will reduce your extent of vision. So we enjoy 180 degrees vision, but with spectacles, it can only be within the frame of the spectacle. Contact lenses will make the eye more dry because the concept of the contact lens is that it must swim over the eye. If there is no fluid, it's not going to swim. It's going to touch somewhere. Whenever, wherever it will touch, it will create irritation in that eye. So actually all these treatments are one side and then going back to the natural mechanisms of treating dryness of the eye, doing simple palming exercise, blinking with every line or letter that you read will be far easier. That we can now aid by doing gene therapy where we will take one drop of the patient's blood, make the patient's stem cells and fetal healthy DNA, give it back as subcutaneous injections to the patient. So here we would have tackled still only two methods. That means if a plant is going down, if I give the plant sunlight, water and fertilizer, it may come back again. The same three we are going to do to the eye. Here water we have given with the silicon plug, Fertilizer we have given by giving the fetal healthy DNA and the stem cells. Now to give the sun, we use a very, very, very low threshold laser, which is a diode laser, not touching the person at all and just simulating the sun. Yes, you can go into the sun and also close your eyes and just absorb the rays of the sun. That is also one of Dr. R.S. Agarwal's eye exercises but here we do it with high technology and precision.